So I was driving down the highway on Monday and uh, the headlight cover just decided to just go away. It just flew off, no reason. Uh, so what sucks is I've been daily driving the RX-7 because the TT's still in the shop, the Super's still in the shop, and I sold my GTI because it was just too good of a deal to pass up. I ended up getting more than I paid for it, which is kind of the way the market has been going for everybody as far as I've heard. So yeah, I've been daily driving the RX-7 like that, and uh, <laughs> I don't know, it kind of feels embarrassing. The headlight cover flew off Monday, had this ordered by Tuesday, and it's now Saturday, and here we are. This is the rustiest knife I've ever seen in my life. But it's the only one I could find. It doesn't even cut the tape hardly. Ready for a, oh my God, they're white. Oh no, that's just the, uh, okay, let's see. Might still be red. No, there's no way they're red. So now, Oh God, here's what it is. These were about 115 each, plus $15 shipping, so about 245 total. Oh my God, I can't believe I have to go get these paint matched. I knew it was unlikely that they would be painted, but I was hoping, I was definitely hoping. There's only a screw here, and there's a screw missing here. So I wonder if that had anything to do with causing it to fly off, because if this part is flapping around, it's gonna catch a bunch of wind and then maybe rip it off. Oh wow, this one's loose. This one's like really loose. So it's probably next to go. Godspeed. Okay, so they're in place. It's actually perfect. So I'll just keep it loose, and then I'm gonna close the hood, close the lights, and see what it looks like. And then I'll tighten everything down if it looks good. It's got clearance, but barely. All right, let's see what it looks like with the headlights down. Nice and flush here. I think the front on this one's actually good too. All right, I think we're done. Well, actually, I gotta put the uh, co other covers back on. Oops. These are pretty easy. A little bit crooked. All right, so now that we have the headlight covers done, uh, we're actually going to pick up the coils. Uh, we're gonna be picking up some Stance GR2 coils. So they're a little bit older, just because I believe they've updated the GR2 to XR2. They don't make the GR2s anymore. So I'm getting them for a good price. Uh, they look good, doesn't look like they have any rust. Uh, the guy said he's only put like 500 kilometers on them, maybe. Uh, I'm getting them for a good price, so I'm gonna go pick those up. And I think, honestly, anything I do with the coils or with the suspension is gonna be better than stock suspension. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let's go. All right, we've made it to this guy's house to pick up the coils. He's just running a little bit late. He'll be in like five minutes, so. I just have to wait in the baking sun with no AC. No big deal. <laughs> What wing is that on the back? Uh, man, I want to say it's an RE rip, like GT spec or something like that. Dude, that is nice. I think these. 
Yeah, no worries. All good, all good. So two and a half hours later, we're back. We've got the coils. Let's go! I'm not gonna put them on though until I get uh, the wheels. I'm gonna be getting some uh, gold RPF ones from Enki. So once I get the wheels, then I'll put the coils on. So I just wanted to go ahead and grab these. Uh, it's so hot today, Jesus Christ. All right, well, that's pretty much the end of the video. So anyway, yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Just so the engine doesn't get flooded, rev it up to 3,000, let off the gas, and then turn off the car. Pro tip for all you new RX-7 owners. All right, bye.